not pileated. I don't know, it's got some red. Where'd you go? There you are. It's just a red headed. All right, it is Saturday, June 2nd, and we are at Gillimont, I don't know, Gillimont something County Park. Uh, Gilmont Cove, I think it is. Um, just kind of, we're like a couple miles in and I haven't done anything yet. So I wanted to show a couple of things like a tree that grew a nurse log on a stump and it just ended up splitting that one wide open. I've seen a lot of different big ones lately through here. Um, passed by a stump that's about 10 or 12 feet in diameter, had about half a dozen different trees growing up out of the top of it. It's chopped off at about five, six feet high. So we're just doing a short little trip today, about four or so miles to the stump house. We're not quite there yet. We're heading there kind of next. A couple mile, uh, about a mile and a half of hiking to get over to there yet. Um, we're doing a short afternoon one because we're hitting the drive-in tonight. Uh, not too far from where we're at near Bremerton, Washington. Um, so yeah, I was not gonna do anything, but then we're just kind of seeing so many cool little things that I thought I would share them. Um, salmon berries are almost in season. <coughs> Excuse me. I picked a few of those already. Not quite ripe enough yet, though. And just kind of variety from the maples. Huge maples. The leaves on these things are like as big as my head. I'm used to ones that are like hand size from Minnesota. <coughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We saw... I'll sh I did take a video of it. I'll show it later. Um, of a uh, red-headed woodpecker. And a chipmunk, we saw a chipmunk. And some deer tracks by the creek. It's kind of warm today. Oops, I'm losing my water. It's kind of warm out today. Um, it's kind of nice being in the shade, but it's still kind of warm and almost even slightly muggy out, which is really weird for around here. Just a lot of different little, you know, the ferns. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'll take some video of some other things, focus more on the things I'm seeing rather than you guys looking at me talking, and we're back to the loop. Yeah, and show you the stump house and stuff when we get there. Is that the woodpecker or is that just the tree creaking? Alright, all sorts of fun stuff going on. Alright, we'll check in later. So these ferns, you see on the underside of the leaves, they have these spores. Those spores are handy 
uh, for helping get rid of the itch and the sting from stinging nettle, uh, which there's a lot of on this trail right now. I've run into a couple times. Um, they tend to be pretty close together on the trail. Of course, now I don't see any. Oh, there's some little low stuff on the ground, but um, that and the slime from banana slugs, what the ferns are a little more palatable for most people. There's something about those spores that have sort of a, uh, I don't know if it'd be like, not analgesic, I'm forgetting the word, but they help take away the sting. A banana slug slime has it where it has a numbing effect as well. That's how they protect themselves. So yeah, that's one of today's lessons. Here we are at the stump house. It's hard to get a good view of it. See the roof up there? Oh, it's got an actual door on that side. Mm -hmm. So that might part have broken open in later years. <laughs> 